We have, I think, an eventful weekend ahead of us. A little fit check. What are we gonna get? Hello. Best night in the today was daylight saving. I'm going to to Welcome to today's vlog. I haven't started a weekend vlog in the car in quite some time. I have the boys back there with me. We just ran and got some Starbucks. We got coffee and croissants. You okay, baby? The boys still have a little bit of a cough. It started maybe like Tuesday of this last week and it's still lingering. Um, but it is Saturday, so welcome to the weekend vlog. We have I think an eventful weekend ahead of us. Tomorrow is actually daylight savings, and I did vlog last daylight savings. Now, we really don't do anything for daylight savings. I think I tried to prepare for like the first one ever that the boys experienced, and then that didn't even go really well. So after that, what, baby? I want to take a ball. What do you want? I want to take a ball. Um... Yeah, I think I tried to like plan for like the first one ever and then it didn't really even go well. So I just kind of stopped planning for daylight savings and I kind of just see what happens with it. So tomorrow is daylight savings. I'm assuming the boys are going to wake pretty early in the morning tomorrow. And so tomorrow is going to be a pretty long day. Um, I do have a bunch of chores that I want to get done tomorrow. I didn't do anything last weekend, so I'm pretty behind in terms of cleaning. So I have to do all of the floors, den, main level, and upstairs. And I really have to do the boys' bathroom. So that is what is on my to-do list for tomorrow for today i want to have a pretty eventful day with the boys it's actually the breeders cup and if you know harris um his family owns horses and so horse racing is a pretty like serious thing to them they pay attention to it all year long and so he's going to be watching the breeders cup all day today so i wanted to do a lot of stuff with the boys i think i'm going to take them to the store today i told them they can get a new hot wheels and a new play-doh and we need light bulbs for their bathroom so that is going to be our little errand of the day and then it's supposed to be really nice it's like 62 degrees out right now it's supposed to get up to 70 which is super strange yes yes you you want to go home Okay, one second. Um, so I want to oh, set up the boys' bouncy house for them today, play outside for a little bit. I want to try and have a photo shoot because her back here looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I think that's our plan for today. Let me take the boys home. They're getting a little bit restless and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, we are home now. Like I was trying to say earlier, our backyard is so pretty with all of the leaves falling. I did a photo shoot with the boys outside last November and there's some of my favorite photos. It's actually my lock screen photo. Um, I don't think there was that many leaves on the floor when I did this last time. Our landscapers did come like three days ago and this is how many leaves have fallen just from then to now. But <clears throat> it's gonna be warm out today. The leaves look really pretty. I wanna try and do a photo shoot with the boys outside again and kind of recreate those photos. And then like I said, set their bouncy house up outside. They've been asking me for it lately. And like I said, it's gonna be really nice. So I think I'm going to do that with them much later on. But we're going to sit and have our coffee and croissants. Um, I want to run to the store with them in a little bit. It's only like 8.20 now. And I think I'm going to wind up taking them around like 10. Okay, it is 9.30. I'm going to... You, clo you closed it? Thank you. It is 9.30. It's time for us to get dressed so that I can take the boys to the store. I think we're going to wind up going to Target. So like I said, I need light bulbs. And I told them they can pick out a car and Play-Doh. So we're going to head to Target to see if they have everything that we need. So I need to pick out outfits, get them dressed, and then get myself dressed. Also, their drawers are so bad and overflowing. I think I was going to do this this weekend as well, but I think wow. it's just too much. I think next week wow. I'm going to do a full wow. drawer closet cleanup for the boys because I have all their summer stuff in here still, like all their wow. short jammies. So that is definitely on my list for next week. But I need to get them dressed and get myself dressed so we can head out. Little fit check. What do you got on? Let me see your little hat. Let me see. Show the camera. Airplane? Yeah. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the store. This one has purple 
blue, pink, and orange. Look, you could have two Play-Dohs. Is that one good? Look at all that Play-Doh. All right, is that what we're picking? Let's look for Hot Wheels. You could pick one of these Hot Wheels. You want to pick a car? Well, we're not getting the big pack. You could pick one of these ones. Look at all these ones. We got red, purple. Which one did you pick? Purple. Which one did you pick? Let me see. I'm in purple. We actually wound up picking up some bagels and having some lunch when we got home. And then I did go ahead and set the boys' bouncy house up outside. And they played on that for a little bit and now they are sitting down there on their potties trying to go to the bathroom before i put them in for a nap as you guys can see i have one working light bulb in here so this is where i needed the light bulbs for i was able to get a pack of six because i also want to do the light bulbs in harris and I's bedroom and i also got christmas ornaments but i'm not going to show you guys that yet i'm going to wait until vlog summer to show you guys my ornaments and like my theme this year for christmas but we got that they got their cars their play-doh i think that's it I need razors, so I got those. Um, but now they're trying to go to the bathroom so that I can put them down for a nap. I was going to keep them up today in hopes that they would be very tired tonight and sleep in tomorrow. Um, but I need a little bit of a break. They're very good when they're out, but you're all done, baby? Okay. Um, they're very good when we're out, but I'm still just tired and need a bit of a break. So we're going to just put them in for a nap and kind of see how tomorrow morning goes and just deal with it tomorrow morning. So I'm going to put them down soon, um, and then I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, Ben is up in there. I'm going to wake Jack up in a minute, and I'm going to try and take them outside in a few minutes to take some pictures. I did a photo shoot out in the leaves last fall, and like I mentioned, those are some of my favorite pictures. I'll throw some up on the screen so you guys can see. I was wearing all black in that photo shoot as well with my denim jacket, which I'm going to do again today. Um, and then kind of threw my hair in a little headband. Last year I wore a beanie, but I haven't worn a beanie yet with my hair being super short. And also it's super warm out today. So I just did the headband. I also threw on just a little bit of makeup, some eyebrows and concealer. My face is breaking out so bad. I tried to cover this one and I have one like forming under my nose. I've been using pimple patches to try and get those to go away, but they're so painful. Um, so I haven't been putting makeup on, but I did throw just a little bit on so that I don't have to edit that out <laughs> but i'm going to get jack up in a little bit give him a snack and then we'll head outside hello you're here, you're here? You're here. hi <laughs> what do you got oh you got some crazy hair oh, a little more apple orange what a little more apple red and apple orange what let's take a big uh, you want to take some pictures in the leaves? Uh -huh. Okay, that was what mommy was going to say. Let's get up, let's grab a little snack. And I then... Want to play with play -Doh. You want to play with Play-Doh? Yeah! Okay, sounds like a good idea. Mommy, we're going to purple. Yeah, we got purple Play-Doh. Mommy, we're going to blue. Yeah, what's mommy's favorite color? Mommy, we're going to blue. Mommy, we're going to white. White? Well, I like green, but white's nice too. You want to get up? Yeah. Right, yeah. You're back inside. The boys are playing with their Play-Doh. We took such amazing pictures again this year. My back is just like it. such a beautiful fall it. setting. I'm trying to make this like a yearly yeah, thing so I can see them throughout the years as they grow. Did but I will throw some up on the screen door? here. I've of course posted them over <laughs> on Instagram by the time you've seen this. Um, but we're just going to play with Play-Doh. It's I, I maybe like 3 o'clock. We have nothing going on for I the rest of the day. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. 
Good morning, guys. It is now Sunday. Please excuse my hair. I don't know what's going on. My hair is getting so greasy so fast lately. I think maybe because it was a little bit humid yesterday. Um, so please excuse that. But it is now Sunday. So last night, excuse you. Last night into today was daylight savings. And so I wanted to give you guys a little update on that. I did film last year for daylight savings. And the boys woke up at like 4.55 in the morning. Hold on. Okay, I gotta hold my camera because they both were just grabbing at it a bunch. Your play doh it's in your hand. <laughs> Silly. Um, yeah, last year they woke up at 4.55 in the morning, which was technically 5.55. That was kind of when we were still going through the whole early morning waking thing. This time around, a normal wake up time for them is anywhere between 6.45 and like 7.20, honestly. And so I was hoping it was going to be towards the like later half of that for like best case scenario and they did wake up at 6 a.m which was technically 7 a.m so that was definitely more of like the best case scenario for us unfortunately i feel like my anxiety just wasn't letting me sleep i woke up at 4 55 this morning so like technically 5 55 and sat there and waited to see if they were going to wake up and so i didn't really get to reap the rewards of an extra hour of sleep because i was up waiting to see if they were going to wake up but of course they slept in until six, which was a perfect time for us. I did go in and get them at 6.30, which was technically 7.30. And we just went and got some coffee and we're back now. And I think it's not even like 7.30 now. Um, just because if I left them in there super long, it would be like a little late for them to eat. They have to like readjust their bodies and everything. So we're up already. We're downstairs in the den. We just got home from getting coffee and croissants. The boys are playing with the play that they got yesterday. And like I said today, there's a bunch of cleaning that I want to do around the house. I have yet to figure out a game plan for that really. I think I want to start upstairs and do their bathroom and the floors in our bedrooms, um, the hallway in the bathroom. Then after they eat their lunch, I will do the main level so I could vacuum the carpet and then dust, vacuum, and mop. Um, <coughs> hey, baby, <coughs> do you need some milk? It's on the table. Um, and then I think later on, I'll have them help me clean down here, like clean up all their toys. And I will end off with a dust vacuum mop down here. So I think that's today's plan. I'm probably gonna wind up throwing my hair up, staying in my comfy grow fit for today since we really have nothing going on. It's also pretty gray today. I didn't know it was going to be gloomy. Um, it's warm, it's like 65, but it's very gray. So definitely a comfy daylight saving adjustment day i feel like each daylight savings has its pros and cons like for today um obviously if they woke up early they'd be up at like the crack of dawn but putting them down for a nap at 11 45 technically it'll be 12 45 and so i know they'll be tired for that and they'll want to go down um same for bed in the spring it always sucks because what'd you make what'd you make a lot of what in the spring, it always sucks because everything's moved back an hour. So, like, keeping them, like, putting them down, it's, like, more complicated. I don't know. Um, but I think this is the last time we're doing daily savings. I think we're springing forward in the spring, and then we're never doing this again. That's what I've heard. Um, so, yeah, it's early still. We're probably just going to hang out for a little bit. And then when I get more of a game plan together for cleaning, I will update you guys. A lot of snakes. Oh wow, that is a lot of snakes. Here. That is not a snake. What color yeah. snakes? That is. That is not a snake. A lot of snakes. What color snakes? Purple snakes. Purple snakes. Purple snakes. Blue snakes. Yeah. Blue snakes. Yeah. Okay, I'm just accepting that I'm gonna look like garbage today. Well, really in this whole vlog. It's like yesterday I didn't get ready. Um, but the boys are downstairs playing with their Play-Doh with Harris. I'm going to take the opportunity while they're playing nice with Harris to clean their bathroom uninterrupted. So I'm going to start, of course, with our lights. These are the light bulbs I picked up yesterday. I'm going to kind of out myself here. I've never bought light bulbs. I think Harris's mom bought the ones for the house when we moved in. Um, but I did ask my mom and she said to get between a 40 and 60 watt. I had to do a 60 watt because it was the only pack of six that I could find. And these are in soft white. I have no idea what any of these other numbers mean. So I'm going to put them in and see how they work in the space. And then after that, I need to clean their top. I brought in all the cleaning products that I picked up when I did Harris and I's bathrooms deep clean. So I have a toilet bowl cleaner, obviously, for the toilet, um, a foaming um, tub and tile cleaner, and then spray cleaner. I need to take their mat off, clean the mat, clean the tub. I do want to go through their toys. There are some toys in there that are over a year old, which is 
disgusting so i want to throw those out and i do have more foam letters that i'm going to put in there for them um i need to do the sink obviously and then i did show i think like three weekends ago maybe even more a full vlog where i did the floors in our upstairs so i'm not going to film that i don't think um i'll just link that video up here if you want to see that but after this bathroom i still have to do the main level and the den which i'm going to wait a little bit to do like i said but for now while i have the time and while the boys are happy downstairs i'm going to start on their bathroom <laughs> months now at this point and it looks so much better so now time to tackle the bath of me right now but the bathroom is nice and clean i have the boys hair supplies that i use to do their hair in the morning soaps toothbrushes a clean counter clean toilet clean shower i'm just waiting for that stuff to dry and the mat so i can reattach it so now i'm going to try and tackle the floors upstairs i need to dust vacuum them off and like i said i already filmed this in a past video the boys are playing with our cleaning supplies like the uh swiffers i have downstairs um but I already did a full video of this, so I don't think I'm going to vlog much of this, but I will vlog when I do the living room and the den. this whole cleaning process and this entire day but as you can see i am dripping sweat i am done i dusted vacuumed and mopped the entire main floor and upstairs i didn't do the den but honestly i think i might just leave that for tomorrow i am jumping in for a shower because i feel disgusting the boys are downstairs eating lunch and so i am going to take a much needed shower now okay it is now the next day it is monday and i'm working on editing today's vlog so that i can get it up for you guys I did not film a single thing after I took that shower yesterday because when I tell you I was so drained, I wound up taking two Tylenol and getting on the couch and taking a nap when the boys went down for their nap because 
I was so sore from like sitting on my knees and scrubbing the tub and then dusting, vacuuming and mopping like the entire, I did the kitchen, I did this hallway, I did our dining room, I obviously did the living room, I did the entire upstairs. So I was in no shape to do anything for the rest of the day, but lay around. Um, I did into the den. I'm going to do it this week coming up. My grandma's actually coming into town next week. So I need to clean the room downstairs for her anyway. So I figured I would just dust vacuum off the entire downstairs when I do that down there. So I got like 99% of my to-do list done. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a very full weekend with us. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.